I think we're on the right track. I see some uh, vehicle up there, a person. I see some likely looking hills. So I was crouched down getting the dog some water and I started seeing some things here on the ground. Little teeny tiny thunder egg type thing. Some uh, sparkly chalcedony. Geode parts and pieces. But anyway, there's a lot to look. This is somebody's trash pile. Geodes. Geode pieces. But, uh, here we are. I saw somebody over here. There's a vehicle over there. Probably one of the people that passed me up. There's a really nice camping spot over there, over there. This is like the main road in, though. I'd like to get off of the main road. Maybe up in there on the other side of this hill. I think we should walk over that way and figure out maybe we can camp over there. It's a type of uh, uh, obsidian. I forget the exact name. Kind of cool. Geode. Geode pieces laying on the ground here. have to come here and dig you can just come here and pick stuff up off the ground and you know they may not be whole perfect geodes but they'd be pretty nice it's a good size pit over here it's got water in it now, i think i camped up over there before Because, you know, the, this is the main road in, and I don't want to camp near the main road. So I think there's a little dirt road right there that might take us around this other side, up into over here, on the other side of these pits. Let me walk over there. Yeah, that's where I want to be, over in here. So I think the road over here around up into that spot right over there and and i'll pick a spot over there there's the truck so we've moved the truck kind of over to the less i think this will be less traveled side And uh, I need to pitch a tent around in here somewhere. So I'm thinking maybe right in here, move some of these rocks, just plop it down right in this area. Huh. 
I don't know. It's got, it's got bushes, plants. If it rains, I'm trying to, you know, not find a spot that's going to have a little river running through it. And so I can see the low spot here and it goes that way, you know. So there's a low spot right here coming that way. So, man, these ant hills are killer. You do not want to sit down right there. Watch out, Gypsy. Don't go on the ant hill. Well, maybe over here. Maybe I can go right here, park right here, and put my tent right here. Looks like a pretty good spot. Geodes on the ground. So cool. Yeah, that's a pretty good spot right there. It's no plants. Looks like a small chance of water kind of coming off this little hill, but I don't think it, it's mostly going to be right here, not over here, though a little bit. Well, we'll worry about rain if it happens. All right, I'll get the truck over here, and this is where we'll go. All right, it's about four o'clock. Took us all dang day to get out here. Got the uh, GoPro set up, doing a time lapse. Going to show putting up the tent and all that, unpacking. Um, I'm kind of surprised this uh, support stayed up, but it did. Yeah. All right. Well, I got to kind of get the tent out and then uh, put the tent up. That's the first thing. It's about 5.20, Utah time, camping time, Dugway Geode time. Check this time lapse, two and a half minutes. You know, it makes it seem like it uh, doesn't take any time to set up camp at all, but it was at least an hour, at least one hour to set up camp. Now, what I need to do is, is I want to disconnect the trailer and leave the trailer here. I need to take the truck over to that hill, back up to it, and get the bike out of the truck. Then... I want to bring the truck over here and set up the awning so that it works with this awning to create uh, extra large shade. And I, I'm not sure how I want that to be. I could bring the truck parallel and then go off the side. I can bring the truck kind of this direction and then go off the side.
All right, we got the bike out of the truck. It's never easy, it's never fun. You know, one of the main reasons I want a 10 foot trailer is so I can just park the bike in the trailer, you know, and it'll, you, it's got a great big ramp door, the whole width of the trailer basically, and you just, you know, roll it right up the ramp, right into the trailer, easy as pie. All right, it's about 6.30. And uh, so we got the tent up. We got the awning up. Got the covered wagon going on. Covering up the truck. Got the bike out. Better check on this GoPro. Looks good. All right, so getting kind of hungry. Probably time to about eat. 6.30, sun's up there. a pretty good spot right here. Right where the water comes, so some of the water. I know some of it goes right underneath my tent, but maybe if it starts to rain real bad, I can dig a gutter for it or something. Oh, there's camp out at the geode beds. Some muddy mud when it was muddy.
Bed's kind of made up. Got the uh, Ektos 80% wool blankets that I bought and used on our last trip. I'm sure they won't be warm enough. You know, I've got my sleeping bag down there. and Before I go to bed, I'll unwrap it and undo it so that I can just kind of grab it and pull it up on top of me in the middle of the night when it's cold. When I'm cold. All right, so we've got gear. The speaker hanging up there. Gear kind of set up there. Camera. It's basically, you've seen this before. It doesn't look that much different. It's how I usually set it up. Backpack, ice chest, dog food, cooking, storage, bed, storage. My string that goes around for storage. I wish I had string across there as well. I'll put some on someday. All right, well, I just wanted to get the bed made so I could put stuff on top of it so that I can cook over here and have plenty of room. I just needed to set up this GoPro to uh, catch the sun going down on me. Yeah, I, I won't sing anymore, I'm sorry. But I just wanted to show you inside the tent. Uh, eventually, I'll put on that 11 millimeter on the Sony camera and maybe we can use that in here. Maybe that'll be wide enough I mean, it's the widest lens I have. I think the GoPro is really uh, pretty much like a 15 or 16 millimeter. I forgot to show you poopers. These are my poopers. She always sleeps underneath me. Little sweetie poopers. Sorry, I was eating a chip. This stove fired up. Let's see, we need fire. Fire. Got the fire up to light, down to cook. So we'll start with up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, two, eight, two, nine, thirty, one, three, two, three, 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 four, three, five. Let's go with thirty-five. There's uh, quite a bit of gas in there. It's always nice when it fires up. It means we get to eat.
some old plates I found in the kitchen, cupboard. You know, my, my youngest graduated a lot, uh, some years ago. Some years ago. Oh, you know what? I forgot the salad dressing. Dang it. I knew I would forget something. You know, last time I forgot the coffee. I forgot the coffee. And this time, I forgot the salad dressing. What do I got? Green sauce. I could put green sauce on my salad. I guess that's better than nothing. Try that. All right, let's get this heated up. It's like I missed. We didn't really figure out a garbage can yet. Alright, well, that's a lot of food in there, but pretty hungry. I didn't have uh, lunch today. Didn't even have much of a breakfast, really. Had a boiled egg, a piece of raisin bread, and that was it. Alright, hands. Yeah, Hands kind of clean. It's a little bit clean. It's clean enough. Green sauce on a salad. I would rather have blue cheese. I'm not going to lie. Well, this will work. Yeah, that'll be plenty of food for Gypsy and I. You know, I can look at the screen on the camera and I can see that the aperture is at 2.8. And uh, so that'll really help in the low light situations like now. The sun is going down. It's starting to get dark. Um, you know, the, the phone camera or the GoPro camera, they're terrible once it starts getting dark. So this is my best lens 
for low light for just this kind of situation. That's hot. I'll just shut that off for a minute. Cheese, some cheese, did you say cheese? Some green sauce. It's kind of, kind of a bit there. Is that it? Oh, there's sour cream in here. I got sour cream. Got plenty of sour cream. We might as well use it up. Wonder if I could take sour cream and green sauce and make a uh, dressing. It's possible. Watch out, Poots. Alright, let's roll this bad boy up. Set those there. You're just letting it cool down, poops, and then you can have some. It's kind of hot. It's kind of hot, poops. Nice amount of meat, some taters. She doesn't need any olives though. All right, there you go, poops. Bon appetit. It's a little bit, a little bit cooler out here because the wind is not blocked.
You want some more food poopers? You want some more? Come on, let's get you some more. Go ahead and fill these up. See if I can do it this direction. I'm Mark. This is Camp Lapidary. We are not in the Lapidary Dungeon. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.